Hey, welcome back to my DVD extras. Cam's got really funny, sorry. There we go, that'll do. I'm Natty Buck and I was part of the casting crew behind the media film Obsession. My next question is, what do you feel you have learnt about technologies from the process of constructing this product? Um, I think I've learnt a number of things really. Um, really technical stuff because I'm more of a creative person so it's really good to learn about the technical side of doing something like this. Um, first and foremost the camera. I wasn't actually behind the filming but we all had to learn how to use it when we made our prelim we were all shown so I've always known how to actually haven't taken up I didn't take up the chance for that project. But um, using the zoom we used a lot of zooms um, for portraying the character of Fagin when you see from his point of view in the film as he's watching Betsy and Henry walk along. We used to zoom in there from behind trees so it showed that it was from his perspective. So that's just an example of where we used it. Um, putting in all the transitions in our film when it came to editing like the um, title pages. I think the program was called Magic X that we used. It was really good. It really easy to use. I mean, Billy spent a lot of time working on that, re-editing stuff um, with Vicky and Josh agreeing when they were around. Um, yeah, putting in the title page is really simple, just inserting a blank page, inserting a title and writing the text we wanted to, created our credits, and I just didn't realise it would be that simple and easy. Um, effects for the flashback we also learnt to use with the Magic program. Um, all we had to do was put a filter onto the clip that we'd already shown and on the timeline you could select how long it lasted for and that's what we did. Really effective hopefully. Um, fading out the music at the end of the film we also did with the um, magic program. You inserted the um, soundtrack onto the timeline at the bottom. And then for the end of it, we dragged in, dropped and dragged in a fade that I found called Church, and it made our, if you listen to our film, which obviously you have to be watching my evaluation, um, at the end of it, it just goes quieter and fades out. And that's how we did it, Church Fade, found by me. Yay! Um, and getting the heartbeat sound effect also, we did the same thing. Billy found a heartbeat on YouTube, downloaded it, converted it, downloaded it onto her mp3, um, not mp3, onto her pen drive, plugged the pen drive into our school computer where we did the editing, dropped and dragged again onto the timeline and uh, selected how long it lasted for in the scene in which Betsy rejects Fagin. And so I think I've learned how to use a camera, how to edit properly and how to make a product like our own look so efficient. Obviously we looked at other examples other thriller films that we've been watching, like our case studies, those five films that we watched, such as Buried and Oxford Murders. Um, taking ideas from those kind of thriller films, seeing how they were edited, seeing how they were filmed, what kind of shots and effects they used, and we put that into our own using the software and the camera effects we had available. So thanks. Peace out. <laughs>